Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Return to Oz was a 1980s cult classic made for children that is, in my opinion, horribly terrifying, especially if you're a child, but honestly, even to this day, I find it horrifying. <laughs> it was made in collaboration with Henson Productions. Brian Henson actually plays Jack Pumpkinhead, one of the main characters, but I'll get to him later. And it was made as a sequel to The Wizard of Oz. I'm, I believe it's based on one of the sequel books in The Wizard of Oz series, and I'm told it's a lot more accurate to the books than the original Wizard of Oz was. The original Wizard of Oz is dark in its own twisted way, but that's a whole separate video for a whole nother day. Anyway, let's just get into it, because this movie is actually a lot longer than I remember it being um, and there's a lot to touch on so let's just let's just get started so the movie starts out six months after the events of the original Wizard of Oz Dorothy is having nightmares and continuously telling people about Oz and nobody believes her Auntie M wants to send her to a sketchy doctor to uh, fix all of this Jim, it's been six months since the tornado and Dorothy hasn't been herself since very dark already. The next day, she tries to threaten one of the chickens into laying an egg. You don't start laying again. Aunt Em says she's gonna stew you up for supper. And she finds a key in the hay. Oh, see, Oz. Or it could just be a like a stop sign, like a, it's just a circle with an X through it. But she's correct. It is from Oz. Aunt Em, look. A key from Oz! Auntie M still doesn't believe it, though. Auntie M is more concerned with the fact that they're having to basically rebuild their home because the original one, if you remember, got swept up in a tornado. Hurry up and get yourself ready, we're gonna be late. But she gets Dorothy into the buggy and uh, off they go to this shady doctor. <laughs> go home, Toto! Toto's having none of it, but he, she makes him stay home. Uh, we don't see Toto again until the very end of the movie. He's not in this one. Sadly. Ah! Poor sad Toto. The Tin Woodsman used to be made of flesh, like everybody else. She's trying to tell this therapist, doctor, whoever he is, about Oz, and he's about as convinced as Auntie M. You mentioned something about a, a tiger. A lion. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. <laughs> Where are those slippers now? I lost them. Oh, I never thought about that, but she did lose the ruby slippers. That's sad. I know just the thing. So the doctor's like, yes, I see. Let's hook you up to electroshock therapy. Now this fella here has a face. Here are his eyes, and this must be his nose. Oh god, he's trying to make it more like kid friendly, but it just reminds me of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Will it hurt? Well, no, no. Yeah, it's just electricity in your brain, you dumb kid. Oh, and she sees this random girl in the mirror that nobody else sees uh, before Auntie M just leaves her with these random people. Here's your lunch pail. You won't need that. This is so shady. Put some WD-40 on that. They didn't have WD-40 in 1899, I don't think. But that is a question for editing Avery to deal with. So she leaves her alone in this sad looking room and then the girl from the mirror walks in this is for you it's a pumpkin i love jack-o-lanterns why did they bring you here dorothy because i can't sleep way to scare every child that ever saw this into going to bed on time so she just runs away and leaves dorothy to brush that jack-o-lantern so now there is a raging storm for dramatic effect and they go to take dorothy back to literal electroshock therapy <laughs> I wish I wasn't tied down. So he starts hooking up this terrifying machine. Pretty soon they'll draw all those unpleasant dreams out of your head. God, turn of the century medicine was terrifying. And they put the, like, adapter things over her head, and it's very scary, but I just keep laughing because it just looks like an 1899 version of, like, headphones. <laughs> like, she's wearing beats. <laughs> Ready? Yes, Doctor. But just before they can turn on the machine and start this very horrifying process, all the lights go out because of the storm. And so as Dorothy's left all alone again, the blonde girl comes back and gets her out of there. I don't know why she couldn't do that before she was like restrained and everything, but anyway, better late than never. What's that screaming? Their patients should be damaged. Well, that's a comforting thought. So. So like dark, but it also just reminds me of the Tyler No video. Does anybody else know what I'm talking about? No! Tyler, no! 
Tyler, it's dangerous! You'll cut your foot! They fall into the river. And Dorothy loses sight of the blonde girl, but she does escape the scary head nurse. And in the morning, she wakes up floating in this crate with the chicken, the one that she was trying to threaten into laying an egg before. Uh, but this time around, the chicken talks. I've never been so wet my whole life. <laughs> Chicken. The hen is actually one of my favorite and one of the most underrated, in my opinion, puppets that the Henson Company ever made. Look at how spot on it is. Look at the feathers. It's amazing. Ah, then this is the deadly desert. If we stay on these stones, we'll be all right. So she picks up her little chicken friend and goes walking. Let's see if we can find something to eat for breakfast. Oh, I don't like that. It's a lunch pail tree. I want to grow a lunch pail tree. But you know those creepy rocks from a second ago that have the faces? They go and uh, report back to some unseen entity who is... She has returned to Oz. Good. Also terrifying. Also, I don't like that the rock faces have tongues. That was unnecessary. She has a chicken with her. So she's walking through the woods and she finds her original house, the one that she came to Oz in in the first time. You remember the one that like got swept up and the, yeah, it was a whole lot. That's where we landed on the Wicked Witch of the East. <laughs> the Wicked Witch of the East, bro! So you might be thinking, where are all the munchkins? Well, she finds out that the yellow brick road is completely in shambles, so things are not looking good. It leads to the yellow Careful, don't trip! But she, as quickly as she can, follows the remnants of the Yellow Brick Road to the Emerald City. That was the Emerald City. Or I guess it's more accurate to say the remnants of the Emerald City, because uh, everybody's turned to stone, nobody's been gardening, or like, you know, mowing the grass or anything. It's, it's very bleak looking. <laughs> yeah, even the Tin Woodsman and the Cowardly Lion got turned to stone after everything that they've been through. So harsh. We've been through a lot together on this channel, so I feel it's important to warn you about the fact that you're about to see one of the most terrifying things you've ever seen in your life. Let me introduce you to the Wheelers. <laughs> Come here, chicken! I hate the Wheelers. It's oh. <laughs> She uses the key that she found before to open up a secret door so that she can hide from the wheelers. You have to come out sooner or later. Mom, can we have Beetlejuice? No, honey, we have Beetlejuice at home. The Beetlejuice at home. <laughs> uh, but the wheelers finally leave because they can't get into where Dorothy is. And then Dorothy turns around and finds this guy. The Royal Army of Oz. Oh, Aww, look how cute he is. He looks like Danny DeVito. <laughs> This mechanical man was once apparently an Oz guard who has been uh, kind of left to rust. I'll wind up his speech. Maybe he can tell us. She winds up his thinking and his action. Good morning, little girl. And then he starts to talk. What happened to the Emerald City? And where is the Scarecrow? I do not know. He's kind of as confused as they are, but just in a different way. I am TikTok, the Royal Army of Oz. Dorothy has now made a friend in Oz that isn't stone, so... Make sure my think works are extra tight and I will formulate a plan. He's gonna help her. I love the way he walks. <laughs> I also think it's adorable that he's shorter than Dorothy herself. Everybody should have a, a short friend. This is my pitch to be anybody's friend. You run up the stairs, I will take care of them. You sure brought that TikTok? <laughs> oh, he really is sure about that. Come here, you love. So they make this one wheeler take them to the gates because they're looking for the Scarecrow, who, when Dorothy last left, was the King of Oz. I, I assume that's something that happened in the books that never got translated into the movie. Come on, TikTok. Once they very stealthily walk inside the gates of the palace, uh, they find this random lady. Help me to rise. I don't trust her. And apparently I'm right not to trust her because she's just got a collection of sentient heads. What do you think? It's so unsettling. The gnome king took the scarecrow and all the emeralds back to his mountain and turned everyone else to stone. 
so upon hearing this unsettling news, she looks at Dorothy and she's like, I like your head. I'm gonna keep it. Not at all beautiful, you understand, but you have a certain prettiness. So she goes to lock Dorothy in a tower for a little while so that she can age, and then once she's older, she'll take her head. It's so weird. Oh dear. My action has run down. Oh, it's okay. You tried TikTok. It's bad enough that you're kidnapping a child. Why you also gotta be mean to the chicken? So Dorothy's locked in this dungeon tower. I guess dungeons and towers are opposite things, but anyway. And then remember how I told you that uh, Brian Henson uh, portrays the character known as Jack Pumpkinhead? My name's Jack. Here he is. I've been alive such a short while. He's a little creepy, but... I like him all in all. Jack Pumpkinhead walked so that Jack Skellington could run. <laughs> While Dorothy is kindly attaching all of his limbs, he tells her that his mother built him to scare off the evil witch that just locked Dorothy in that tower. Apparently things did not go according to plan. <laughs> Where did she get all those different heads? Did you see the headless dancing girls outside? Oh. Oh no. But she decided to test some power of life. It worked. So the evil witch accidentally brought him to life and then turned everybody to stone and also his mother who built him is missing. It's been a rough time for this guy. Here I am. But with his spindly long fingers, uh, Jack helps Dorothy escape the locked tower. TikTok. And she goes and gets TikTok back and then they all go looking for that life giving powder that brought Jack to life. Did you understand all that, TikTok? Better than you do. Be nice. So while Dorothy's creeping downstairs, her friends push a couple of couches together and take this moose head off the wall. <laughs> she steals the key from the headless witch. She gets the powder, but not before waking up all of the heads. <laughs> Ah, uh, my fight or flight is triggered. Mommy's awake. Oh no. So she gets back and she's like, hey, we gotta go. And then they don't even have the contraption that they were building built. So she's like, what the hell, guys? His brains ran down. Oh, oh no. How could he talk? It happens to people all the time, Jack. She is right. It does happen all the time. It's not working. Mm -hmm. There must have been some magic words. Think, Jack. You've got to remember. I wasn't alive then. Not being alive is no excuse. We are... Tiog. Tiog? Oh, they were on the back of the bottle. How convenient. Uh, and the thing that she has brought to life is this Frankenstein together flying sled made out of a couple couches and this now talking moose head. Can you flap your wings? I don't have any wings. But he's a very jolly fellow. And they take off just as the headless witch gets up to the tower after finding a head so that she can see where she's going, and they just narrowly escape. You could say please. The last thing I remember is walking through the forest and hearing a loud noise. Oh, poor guy. He remembers being murdered. I don't feel too well put together. He's got a very good attitude under the circumstances. <laughs> so they all go to sleep. Dorothy cuddles the chicken. It's very cute. Uh, meanwhile, we see that the headless witch is uh, holding this ghostly figure hostage. Very creepy. Nobody's going to help you. And oh dear, the wheelers are after them. Ah, <laughs> oh, but they start turning to stone when they hit the sand because it's the deadly desert. That's kind of its thing. Uh, so they get away, but then the next morning they just kind of crash. <laughs> Head. No. Quick, lay down. Jack his head over the side. Oh, poor Jack. <laughs> but Dorothy risks her life to get his head back, and he's just like, thanks. <laughs> he's adorable. But they all fall out of the sky and somehow live, so that's good. And they realize that they're on the Gnome King's mountain. She is on our mountain with a small army. Do you think those little rock faces like give the Gnome King like weather updates? Your Majesty, today's forecast is 75 degrees and sunny. <laughs> they like keep him up to date on current events and everything. What about the chicken? Why is everybody so obsessed with a chicken? What am I missing? Tell me who you are. So the Gnome King comes out and talks to them himself and she's like, Hey Mr. Gnome King, uh, we came to find uh, our friend the Scarecrow. I told you before that the Gnome King had the Scarecrow, right? I hope I said that before. We've come to ask you to release the Scarecrow. So if someone steals something, you think the right thing is for them to give it back? Yeah, that's kind of how it should work. <laughs> 
And then the Gnome King just opens the ground up and Dorothy just goes flying through. As she's falling, he's like giving her exposition about how he wanted all the emeralds from the Emerald City. All those emeralds in the Emerald City really belong to me. And I just love this scene. Like this shot is so cool. It reminds me of every dark ride at Disney World. Dorothy! Scarecrow! Oh, the Scarecrow's seen better days. Your friend is the thief. So the Gnome King is like, oh, your friend the Scarecrow? I transformed him into an inanimate object because he stole all the emeralds from the Emerald City, which is just not true. And Dorothy's like, that's some bullshit. He never stole anything. They were there when he came. And the king just doesn't care. <laughs> Get your hand off of her, you slimy. I was going to say frog. He's not a frog. He's a stone. Don't cry. Don't play, Mr. Nice Guy. I know just the thing to cheer you up. He's like, hey, I know what'll cheer you up. I also kidnapped your friends. Yay! So meanwhile, the headless queen, uh, I know she's wearing a head now, but she's a headless queen. She uh, finds out that the wheelers came back empty handed. So she's like, fine, I'll go and get Dorothy myself. And Dorothy has that to look forward to. Each of you has three chances to guess which one is the scarecrow. The Gnome King tells them that they can each take turns going into the ornament room and guessing which ornament is the scarecrow. And if they guess correctly, then they all can leave. Why doesn't the sofa go first? I should have quit when I was ahead. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love that interaction. <laughs> I love the moose head. So one by one, all of Dorsey's friends go in and they fail to guess correctly, and they too get turned into ornaments. And every time one of them gets turned into a lifeless ornament, the Gnome King becomes a little less rock and a little more terrifying. Next. Oh, those creepy hand things. They're not exactly the same, but don't they remind you of uh, the, the hands in Labyrinth? Also Jim Henson, so not surprised, but you know. Being an ornament will probably be hardest on you, Dorothy, since you're used to eating and sleeping and other such activities. Bless him. Since I never eat or sleep, I will miss them. Since I never get to take a nap or eat saltine crackers, Dorothy, I'll go in your place. <laughs> Oh, here comes the Headless Queen with her very squeaky sidekicks. He has many excellent qualities, but thinking is not one of them. Next! But all this culminates in TikTok, the wind-up man, his um, action wind-up running down. So the king, who now has um, very realistic and very bloodshot eyes, allows Dorothy to go in and wind him up. And then inevitably, when he fails on his last guess, she can just stay in there and guess. You didn't come back. Please. Oh, he has the ruby slippers. I mean, it is kind of a look for him, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, Dorothy goes in looking for her friends. Tuck, you all wound up. It was my way of getting you in here. You tricky scamp, you. You can watch and see what I am changed into. That may give you a clue. Tick-tock. <laughs> the little metal-handed hug. So he fails and now Dorothy's left all alone. As she's guessing, the Headless Queen shows up and she's like, where's the kid? And the Gnome King is like, she's in there guessing. She's about to be an inanimate object in a second. <laughs> inanimate object. I just, my brain just decided not to say that word, but it's okay. But if she guesses right and finds out about Ozma. Ozma. So while these two bitchy people are having this bitching contest, the Gnome King finds out that uh, the Headless Queen did not kill Ozma. We don't know who Ozma is, but apparently she is very much a threat to them. Ozma. Ozma. You've probably put it together that she's kind of the, the, the ghostly figure from before. Yeah, her. Soon there'll be no one left who remembers Oz and I will be completely human. Well, you can forget about those plans, Mr. Gnome King, because right on the last guess, Dorothy realizes that the Scarecrow has been turned to, to what else? An emerald. Oz! Dorothy! King of the Emerald City. He's like, oh shit. You are a green ornament. 
Yeah, apparently the Gnome King has a sick sense of humor, but we'll deal with that later. Maybe people from Oz turn into green ornaments. So now that they know that everybody from Oz gets turned into a, a green ornament, they go around looking for their friends. And one by one, they start turning them back to human, which I guess takes some life power away from the Gnome King. He starts slowly phasing back into the rocks behind him. You let her escape! He's pissed at what's-her-face. Well, I guess she's got like dozens of faces because the whole head thing. He puts her in a cage. She's locked up. <laughs> nice catch, Scarecrow. So the Gnome King is having a hissy fit and uh, everything's kind of falling down around them. <laughs> but hey, they also got Jack back. They haven't even gotten TikTok and Belina back. I think that's the chicken's name. They haven't gotten them back. He tries to just eat the poor moose, but they save the head, which is, I guess, the, the part of him that has all the consciousness. So he just kind of eats his sofa body, which is weird. Well, that's terrifying. Everything in this movie is nightmare fuel. No, not Jack, take me instead. Oh, what do you know? Belina the chicken has been hiding in Jack's head the whole time. Hey, she finally laid her egg! And I kid you not, the egg falls down the throat of the Goblin King. The Gnome King. The Goblin King. That's... <laughs> also Labyrinth. And they're all like, aw shit, not an egg! And then they all die. No, really, they all die. They all got poisoned by one egg. Sucks to be them. Eggs are poison indeed. I guess that's why they were all so pressed about the chicken. I mean, in the first movie, the, the, the wicked witch just melted when she got some water splashed on her, so all the bad guys in Oz are kind of wimps. With the Gnome King dead, Dorothy gets the slippers back and wishes them all back to the Emerald City. <laughs> And everybody gets turned into not stone. They're all alive again. The headless ladies that the queen stole their heads from, they get their heads back. They realize that the headless queen is still locked up and they have this little emerald pin thing that they realize is TikTok. So they get TikTok back. All is going well. And they just get to go back to Oz and like a hero's welcome. Everybody's alive. Everybody's happy. The tin man and the lion are back. Look at the little blue bow on his head. They bring the queen back so that she can presumably go to whatever Oz has in lieu of a prison. And the Scarecrow reclaims his throne as the Emerald King, or the King of Emerald City, whatever his title is. I've got to go back. Dorothy decides that she needs to go back to Kansas, and then she turns around, looks in the mirror, and who is it but the little blonde girl from the beginning of the movie, you know, the one that, that helped her escape. She is Ozma! So this is Ozma. My real mom! <laughs> Jack is so cute. Her father was king of Oz before the wizard came. She is apparently the rightful queen of Oz, so I guess she will like joint rule with the Scarecrow, or maybe Scarecrow will be like the prime minister. I don't know. I don't know how their political system is structured. But anyway, Dorothy gives the ruby slippers to Ozma, and Ozma's like, all right, I'll send you back home to Kansas, but I'll check in on you every now and then, and anytime you want to come back, just let me know, and I'll bring you back. So that's good. You're not coming back, Belina? No. Oh, and Belina's like, yeah, I'm not going back. What are you, crazy? Kansas? I'd rather roll in the Emerald City, baby. Goodbye, Dorothy. So back Dorothy goes. She's washed up on shore, because remember, she almost drowned. Toto's like, this stupid kid's gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> I've been looking all over for her. But she gets re reunited with her family. Everybody was rescued except Dr. Worley. He ran into rescue his machines. Oh, so we find out that the doctor died when the facility was hit by lightning and it caught on fire. And also, the head nurse is being arrested, I guess, for, I don't know, holding people against their will. But, you know, good to see justice in the real world, too. But they get their new house built. Everybody seems happy now. And anytime Dorothy wants to see her new friend Ozma, she can just trace Oz into her mirror. And she shows up. It's too nice a day to stay inside. 
And that's the end. Happy ending for everybody. <laughs> I actually really like this movie. I think it's pretty underrated for as well put together as it is. It is nightmare inducing, um, but you know, what else is new around here? <laughs> you guys know that spooky season kind of happens all year round here, uh, but now that it is September, we might as well pretend like it's Halloween every day. And I figured this was a great movie to kind of set the tone for the next couple months on this channel. Honestly, I've been meaning to cover this movie for over a year and I could have done it at any time, but I think now is a pretty good time, so here we are. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments section if you've seen this movie or if you have memories, good or bad, or you know, whatever, from watching this movie as a child. Did it terrify you? Did you love it? But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me, guys, seriously. I so appreciate all of your support and your kind comments. It just means the world to me. Creating a chill place on the internet where we can all hang out and have fun is really why I do this. So thank you for being here and participating in all of it. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye.